everyone, this is Katie Colleen here. Welcome back, Colleen Clan. Or if you're new, then come join the family. Today I'll be showing you how to make lightweight, affordable belts for your cosplay. And I will be using these belts for an Orin cosplay I'm making from Final Fantasy X. So I'm actually using a packaging foam for the base of this belt. And when I say packaging foam, I mean this literally came in a package. I believe my husband ordered some car parts and the package was shipped with this as the foam. Like this was literally the packaging. And here we are, I'm using it for cosplay. So we got a little bit of kind of recycling action going on here. Now, because these belts are going to be on a sleeve, uh, they don't need to be very big. So at least for this project, I'm going with an inch and a half thick for the belts. Now, packaging foam, at least in a package full of car parts, uh, doesn't come in a very big size. So I'm actually going to be cutting out multiple strips and sewing them together to make the belt. So I'm just doing a straight stitch and I'm just going straight through both layers of the foam. If you're not comfortable putting a packaging foam under your sewing machine, then Joann's Stores does have a sewable foam that you can use. I've used that for another armor build. I'll put the tutorial in the description if you wanna know more about using that. So after having a quick look at how long I wanted this belt to be, we can move on to cutting out the fabric. I'm using this faux leather fabric. It's pretty thin but that doesn't really matter because it's going to be wrapped around something much thicker and that is the packaging foam. So I'm just going to lay out my little belt base on this fabric and I'm going to kind of use that as my pattern. So it's still going to be an inch and a half wide and I am going to add an extra inch or two on both ends just so I have plenty of room to play with for the end of the belt. I am going to sew this faux leather to one side of the packaging foam. So I'm just doing a straight stitch and this is feeding under my sewing machine with no problems and I'm just going to sew this down on both sides. So at this point your belt will look something like this. So it'll be exposed packaging foam on one side and the other side you'll have your kind of top stitch down leather look. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to cut off any excess. So we would really like to have both sides of our belts covered in leather. So that's what we're gonna do next. So I'm going to, again, using my belt as a pattern, I'm going to cut out that same length with those few extra inches, but I'm going to cut it out much wider. So for my inch and a half wide belt, I chose to cut out three inch wide piece of fabric. So I'm just gonna take the edge of that wider fabric piece and I'm going to fold it once and then fold it twice. Because I'm folding it twice, that means I have a folded seam showing. You're not gonna see any rough edges anywhere on the edge of this belt. And I'm going to just sew straight through it. At this point, you are going through four layers of the faux leather and one layer of packaging foam, which is quite a bit. So I do have a sturdier needle in. I do have my machine on a sturdier setting. Now it's a bit trickier to fold over the other side of the belt and kind of close this off. You really gotta pull at it and adjust it so that it folds over very nicely and you want this leather to be very tightly wrapped around the packaging foam. So after you have done that top stitch on both sides, this is what it's gonna look like. So now we have our belt and it has nice finished seams on the side, but we still have to do something with the ends. So one end is going to have to attach to the belt buckle. Now, I don't want any rough seams, so I'm gonna take that exposed edge and I'm also going to fold it over twice and sew it down. Now, this is a little bulky. If you would like, you could always just fold in the rough edges and hand sew it shut. I was just in the mindset that everything was gonna be folded over twice and that's how I was gonna make this belt. So that's where my mind was going. There's plenty of ways that you could do it. Now, you'll notice that the centerpiece of our belt buckle it needs to go through the belt in some way in order for us to attach it properly. So in order to do that, I'm going to start with a little buttonhole stitch on the center of our belt. Now I can do this with my machine, but you could also do it by hand if you would like. You just want some thread in order to reinforce that circle that you're gonna cut in the belt so that it doesn't fray and it doesn't tear any bigger than you want it to. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my ripper and make a hole in the center of the buttonhole. And this hole is just big enough for our belt buckle to get through. And now our belt is actually attached to a belt buckle. Now that I got the belt buckle to go through the belt, 
I wanted to stay that way. So I decided to hand sew the end down and that's because I don't feel really comfortable running a sewing machine when there's metal that close to it. There's a really good chance that you could break a needle or damage your machine. And there's a lot of leather that we're sewing through at this point. So now with that end of the belt done, all we have left is our last exposed end of the belt. Now for the cosplay I'm making, this is going to be in the shape of a V. And right now it's in the shape of a square. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and cut a V shape into the end of my belt. And then I actually decided to just fold over the edges the same way that I did the sides of the belt. It was a bit tricky to get everything to line up, so it does take a little bit of practice. Now for this particular belt, I'll actually be covering up these edges anyways, so I wasn't particularly picky on how clean they looked. Now we need our belt to actually be functional and be able to hold up your cosplay pieces and buckle shut. And that means more buttonhole stitches. Now the buckle will just go through the buttonhole on the other side and we have a working belt for our cosplay. And now that the belt works, we can do a few other decorative things if we would like. And with Final Fantasy cosplays like Orin, there are a lot of decorative things to be done. So I'm going to put in a rivet. This rivet is purely for aesthetics. It's not actually holding anything together. So I'm going to just kind of poke a hole through our belt and I'm going to install a rivet. Now, generally you would use a rivet tool to get this rivet really solidified in place. You might hammer it down. Uh, I don't have a rivet tool in this size. It's uh, on the way. So just uh, use your imagination. I hammered these into place. And I'm also going to add belt tips to the end. This is what I meant when I said that I didn't have to be really clean with my edges here because I'm just going to be covering them up with metal. Now you can buy triangular belt tips or rectangular ones. And you'll see here that I have the rectangular belt tips. The triangular ones are much more expensive. And I found that if you just use two of the rectangular belt tips, you can make a triangle anyways. It is much more cost effective. So I'm just putting these belt tips on each side of the triangle end of the belt. And then I'm gonna use some pliers and really just kind of cinch those belt tips down. Now the last decorative thing you may wanna do is you may wanna also add a little loop onto your belt. So I'm just going to cut out a rectangle of the faux leather. I'm going to fold in the edges and I'm going to top stitch that down. And then I'm going to sew both edges together so that I have a little belt loop and I can just slide that onto my belt. And now comes the really satisfying part. I actually made four of these belts and now I can attach them to the cosplay. So I'm going to attach these through all the belt loops on this Orin cosplay. And I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.